times, Gordon Ramsay exploded into anger. Gordon Ramsay is regarded as one of the world's most talented chefs. He's made a name for himself in the industry. In the culinary realm, the world-famous chef and restaurant has won numerous awards. Despite the fact that his restaurants have received a total of 15 Michelin stars, few people are interested in his culinary achievements. His job on televisions has made him renowned. Owing to his well-known surely demeanor and harsh treatment for others, keep an eye on this space. 1. Cafe Hunt While the restaurants featured on Kitchen Nightmares may not have the best reputations, few receive death threats from enraged patrons. Denise Whitling, the proprietor of Cafe Hunt, patented the name Hunt and vowed to prosecute anyone who used it. While this may appear innocuous on the service, the term hun, which is short for honey, is significant to Baltimore locals. It's their term of endearment, and they've been using it since before Denise opened her business. Denise wanted to get the trademark because she intended to put it on the products of her rich for her restaurant. Gordon brought her back to reality and she apologized for her conduct during the last few days. 2. Amy's Baking Company This is without, without a doubt the most well-known episode in the entire series. The proprietors, Sammy and Amy Buzaglo, were complete psychopaths who were extremely hostile to customers, employees, and Chef Gordon Ramsay. While the food was delayed to arrive and of poor quality, the restaurant did have some excellent pastries. The restaurant's kitchens was also re remarkably clean and well-organized. The restaurant's interior were also not bad. Gordon made every effort to assist Sammy and Amy. They were simply too obstinate. Gordon eventually gave up and left the restaurant. As is customary for the show's format, there was no grand announcement of newly remodeled premises or a whole new menu. Gordon claimed that he had plans for the restaurant but will never know what they were. Because of the show, Sammy and Amy became popular and went viral. They and their eerie have, have been the subject of numerous memes and videos. They even showed up on Dr. Phil's show. 3. Down City down City was purchased by Abby Cabral and her best friend Rico Conforti in 2005. Business was initially brisk, but it has subsequently faded. This is mostly due to Amy's customer service mindset. She claims to be one who fires customers. She's no better with her own employees. Abby is well known. Abby's behavior is shocking given that she has worked in the restaurant industry for three decades and should know better. Abby gave their food an A+. Gordon was underwhelmed. As Down City provided room service to a nearby hotel, he had a bad experience with their cuisine. This was just a taste of what to come. Gordon was disgusted by the kitsch as well. 4. Dylan's Dylan's turns out to be a mismatch of American, Irish, and Indian cuisine, which surprises me. This was ineffective since the eatery lacked a distinct personality. Additionally, the restaurant's walls were covered with what appears to be a hospital linen. It was also one of the filthiest restaurants Gordon ever visited. As he entered the restaurant, Gordon was greeted with flies. Roaches had taken up residence in the refrigerator, while larvae thrive in the veggie sacks. Several safety regulations were also broken in the kitchen. Martin, Andrew, and Khan were restaurant's managers. Regardless, the eatery was poorly managed. Martin, the general manager, was frequently seen on his phone and he had time to flirt with the waitress. Gordon accused Martin of robbing the business's owner. Martin was finally fired as a result of his actions. Martin then filed a $3 million lawsuit against Ramsey, claiming that the show charmed his career. He also attempted to halt the show's broadcast. He was unsuccessful. 5. Campania After the show aired, one of the episodes, Campania, had a tragic finish. Joseph Zuniglia purchased the popular Campania restaurants in the hopes of providing for his wife Melissa and their children. Unfortunately, he managed to rack up $200,000 in debt during his 18 months at the helm because he did not administer the restaurant professionally. It was overstaffed and he could not keep the food costs under control. Gordon attempted to restock the faltering eatery like he always did. Gordon implemented improvements to increase food quality and lower food expenses, which seems to give the camp Campania some hope. Joe went on to win some cooking competitions after the show aired, proving that the relaunch was a success. Joe's marriage was unfortunately shattered. He also sold a holding company to his restaurant. Please let us know if we missed anything in the comment sections below. To ensure you never miss an upload, subscribe and turn on the bell. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video.